Hello, 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 and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, this is the video for you. If you have been so afraid that you've been burying your gifts and talents, I mean, you're a talented, powerful woman. God has endowed you with skills and capabilities to do many, many things in the earth realm. But there have been some traumatic events in your life that have caused you to say, you know what? I'm going to keep this to myself. If that's you, then this video is for you. We're going to talk about whether or not fear has caused you to bury your gifts and talents. And listen, powerful woman, don't worry. When you listen to this video, it will offer you insight into your current situation so that you can move from where you are to where you desire to be. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, and comment below. I would love to hear from you. If this video blesses you, share it with someone for whom you're connected to. Because when we find something good, we want to share it with those we're connected to. Also, stay until the end. It will bless you. All right, I'll see you at the end. Bye. One more thing. I'm Shaiteria Jones, and I help powerful Christian women take what they've learned from the Bible and apply it to their everyday lives so they can be successful in all that they do. I do that by helping them to overcome fear, to receive healing and deliverance from past hurts and trauma, as well as uncovering hidden patterns that hinder destiny. Listen, powerful woman, this video is for you if you are ready to soar like the eagle you were created to be. Don't forget, stay until the end. I'll see you soon. Bye. Looking forward to going through this study with you and finding out, has fear caused you to bury your gifts and talents? Each one of us, when God created us, he created us and he endowed us with different gifts and different talents. Some people um, can sing. Some people are really great at organizing. Other people lead really well. Others serve well. Others give well. There are so many gifts that God has given us and sometimes we overlook them. Sometimes we discount those gifts that we have been given because it comes natural to us. But God does not want us to discount those things. He actually wants us to invest in those things and to be able to share them with the people around us. But sometimes fear causes us to bury our gifts and not want to share them with the world around us. And so I just want to take some time and walk through with you and see if you've been having that issue with fear causing you to bury your gifts and your talents. So... Uh, my first point today is that fear doesn't want you to understand the importance and power in your gifts and talents. See, there is power in every one of your gifts and talents because they can be utilized for something greater than you. So one of my gifts is the gift of administration. I'm really good at um, organizing. I'm really good at planning and it's effective in my home life, it's effective in business, and when I come in contact with someone who doesn't have a strong gift in administration, I'm able to help them along the way. If I bury that gift of administration and I'm ashamed of how well I can organize or I'm ashamed of how well I can plan or ashamed of how timely I can be, it can cause me not to use my gift and talent to help someone else. There are some people who are musically inclined and their gift of singing or their gift of being able to play an instrument blesses people in ways that they may not fully be able to articulate or explain, but it can take them into new realms in God. And if you bury that, it causes a blockade where that person wasn't able to get a breakthrough that they were essentially meant to get. And so it's so important that we're not burying our talents and our gifts and that we're understanding the importance of those talents and gifts. Here's a summary of Exodus 31 verses 1 through 3 before we actually read it. And this was when God was giving Moses a template for 
the tabernacle and he was telling him everything that he wanted this tabernacle to look like the passage of scripture is exodus chapter 31 verses 1 through 3 and it reads and the lord spake unto moses saying see i have called by name Belzalel, the son of uri the son of her of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. Again, that scripture is Exodus chapter 31, verses one through three. So this particular man had the ability to carry out the tasks that God wanted in order to see this temple edifice raised up. Now, had Bezalel held back his talents, the temple that God wanted constructed wouldn't have been constructed, or the tabernacle wouldn't have been able to be constructed because he held back his gifts and talents being worried about what other people would think about him. So how often are you worried about what people will think or what they'll say about your gifts and talents and you just bury them because you don't want people to see them? My next point is um, your gifts and talents have the ability to enhance and advance when applied and utilized properly. Sometimes we can be, again, uh, full of fear with our gifts and talents, not realizing that when we step into a room, we enhance a thing. We are the solution to a problem. But when we don't allow our gifts and talents to come to the forefront and we hold them back, because we're full of fear, we don't give uh, people the opportunity to go to the next level. Have you ever thought about your gifts and talents as adding to a project, adding to a group? When you think about a family dynamic, um, you, you may have a sister who cooks really well and somebody else does a really good job at cleaning. Well, if the person who does a really good job at cleaning doesn't want to help out, it can cause an issue um, if we have the person who's really good at cooking, cleaning, and the person who's really good at cleaning, cooking. We want to make sure people are in the right places at the right times. And when you, powerful woman, are utilizing your gifts and talents in the right place at the right time, you can enhance a situation. Um, okay, next one. When you bury your gifts and talents, you don't give them an opportunity to be developed. God wants us to get to a place of mastery. We get to a place where uh, we allow his spirit, his spirit of excellence, because God is about excellence. When we allow his spirit of excellence to rest on us, to elevate our gifts from the natural level to a level of uh, supernaturally. One example of that in the Bible is Daniel. He had an excellent spirit in him. Daniel. The passage of scripture we're going to look at is Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. And it reads, Then this Daniel was preferred above all the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Again, that scripture is Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. Daniel didn't shriek back because he was excellent. He was considered to be the wisest of all the men in Babylon. He was preferred above um, all the other men who worshiped the same deity as the king because he allowed his gifts and talents to be utilized to the best of his ability. He allowed the excellent spirit of God to rest on him. And he didn't hold back because he was serving a pagan king, but he um, poured out all that he had so that God could be glorified in the process. We, as a handiwork of God, were made for his purpose and his pleasure and were made to point people back to King Jesus. And so that's one of my other points. When we bury our gifts and talents, um, the spirit of fear gets excited about it because the spirit of fear does not want people to see King Jesus. And so when we are utilizing our talents and our gifts, the king is edified, he's glorified. People are like, oh wow, um, 
you can do that or how are you able to do that and it opens a door for you to be able to talk about the God that you serve powerful woman oftentimes fear wants to arrest you so that other people don't get their breakthrough so that other people don't see you through heaven's eyes but there were plenty of time um, in Daniel's day where because of who Daniel was the kings declared there's no other God except for the God of Daniel. If he had let a spirit of fear overtake him, he couldn't have represented God well in what he was doing. And so it is so important that we do not allow fear to try to steal from God's glory. Because ultimately, fear wants us to worship it as opposed to God receiving the glory, as opposed to King Jesus receiving the praise. Here's one. I fear understands that a kingdom citizen with developed gifts and talents can cause great damage to the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness, again, doesn't want entrance um, of light to come and penetrate. The word of God tells us that we are like... Um, light lamps set upon a hill for all to see nobody puts a lamp underneath a bushel to hide it but it's set upon a hill for all to experience and so our light the gifts the talents we have the the glory that we carry for god when we utilize it effectively it can draw people out of darkness to god's glory the spirit of fear wants us to say oh no I, I'm afraid of what people will think. I'm afraid of what people will say. I'm afraid of what the outcome will be. I'm afraid of the consequences of this particular action. So I'm not going to do it. And so fear causes us to be crushed as opposed to being propelled to demonstrate the glory of God. So have you been burying your gifts and your talents? I used to bury my gifts and talents. I'd be like, listen, nobody um, needs to hear what I have to say. I'm not going to offer my services over here. Until I realized that the reason why I kept feeling like I didn't have anything to offer was because the spirit of fear didn't want me to allow God to shine through me. Because if I began to talk, um, people would hear what they needed to hear and they were able to break free of certain things. So we have to be mindful that the spirit of fear wants us to shut down, it wants us to contract as opposed to going forward and being bold because it wants to win. And so I'm gonna leave you with this. It's time for you to be bold and it's time for you to be courageous. It's time for you to identify the gifts and talents that God has placed on the inside of you and for you to stop shrinking back. The time is now for you to be bold and courageous. The time is now for you to stand on the word of God and for you to walk courageously out the life that God has called you to live. Fear wants you to fail, but the spirit of faith, the spirit of Jesus Christ, wants you to be propelled into destiny. I want to see you stop walking in fear. I want to see you stop cowering and stop second guessing yourself. I want to see you operate with the peace of God in your life. But the only way that you can do that is to come out of agreement with fear. The Bible is full of different stories and different characters who were afraid, but God always told them to be courageous and to not be afraid. The reason he said that is because Fear generally is that first spirit on the scene to attack a person. If we go back to the book of Genesis, um, when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, what they told God when he asked them where they were, he told them, he uh, Adam and Eve told God, I hid from you, we hid from you because we were naked and we were afraid. And God said, who told you that you were naked? See, fear will give you information to paralyze you, but the spirit of faith gives you information to free you. Powerful woman, if you are ready to be propelled into destiny, you've got to start making a list of those things that are paralyzing you. There are things in your life that are causing you to shrink.
shrink back. I'm going to say that again. There are things in your life that are causing you to shrink back when you were meant to be a light in a dark place. There are things in your life that are causing you to second guess your purpose. When you were placed in a situation because you were uniquely crafted to handle that thing. There are things in your life that are telling you that you're not qualified when God has already pre-qualified you. Powerful woman. There are things that you were birthed into the earth realm to handle, but you're sitting back watching someone else do something that you could do better. Powerful woman, it's time for you to take a stand and be the powerful woman you were created to be. Do not allow fear to cause you to bury your gifts and talents. If this is helping you out today, please share, 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 share. Um, we want anybody and everybody who's been battling with the spirit of fear to know that they don't have to live that way. Fear is one of those spirits that likes to lurk around every corner and fear wants to get to know you like intimately, like just like God wants to know you and God, actually God knows you because he made you, but just like God wants you to get to know him and spend time with him and understand his ways and, and know his acts, the spirit of fear wants to get to a place where it can begin to lead you in a path that will have it create your destiny for you. Before the foundation of the world, there was a book written about you and God has great plans for you. But what the spirit of fear wants to do is it wants you not to ever realize those plans. It wants you to never get connected with those plans. God wrote a book about you, not to hide it from you, but he wrote this book about you so that you could be successful and do what he created you to do. It's like the book that a manufacturer makes um, in order to operate a particular product. The manufacturer puts that book into the box that he sells that particular gadget with. The reason he does that is because he wants you to get the most out of that product. So God has this book all about you, but if we don't tap into that book and we allow fear to tell us what we can do and what we can't do, we'll never reach our full potential. I once was there. I once didn't ask God what I was created for. I once didn't ask God what he wanted me to do. And I had my own plans for my life. I was happy doing my own thing. I was happy. Actually, I wasn't really happy. I was over it. <laughs> And I was trying to figure out a way to get happy. See, sometimes, powerful woman, we can't figure out why we're dissatisfied with life. We can't figure out why what we're doing isn't working. And it's because we're not walking in accordance with the word of God that's been spoken over our lives. The word of God tells us that when we become one and we commune with God, we'll hear a voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk therein. Fear never wants us to get to the place where we hear that voice telling us, this is the way, walk therein. We have the ability to make right decisions every time. But if we don't tap into the Holy Spirit, if we don't commune with God, if we don't say, open my book, dear God, that I would be able to walk in the ways that you have for me, we'll be held back and we'll be operating in failure for the rest of our lives. Powerful woman, I don't want that for you. I want you to live in kingdom transformation. I want you to live in heaven on earth. The word of God tells us that we can say kingdom come, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I was talking to daddy God and um, I was talking to him about, you know, how we we pray um, the prayer that will be done. And one of the things he illuminated for me is that when a person leaves a will and testament, it is outlined with specifically what the person wants to take place, right? So when we say, thy will be done, we're asking for something specific to take place. And the great thing is that we don't have to guess what that will is because God will reveal that to us. But fear wants us to get to a place where we don't even think we have the ability to ask God what his will is and he'll reveal it to us. See, when we allow fear to overshadow our hearts and when we allow fear to overshadow our minds, it causes us not to know who we are. Powerful woman. Your gifts, 
your talents, your personality, where you are in life right now. God wants to be involved in all of that. And when you relinquish control, because one of the, the, the ways you know that you're operating in fear is if you have to be in control. Okay, right now. That's how I feel too. When the Lord was like, ma'am, you always trying to be in control. And I'm like, uh -huh, uh what else would I do? <laughs> and he illuminated for me the fact that the reason I want to be in control is because I don't trust him enough. The reason I don't trust him is because I've been listening to fear. Powerful woman, stop listening to fear. Today's the day where you unbury your gifts and you unbury your talents and you say, here they are, Lord. Let me use them for your glory. So grab a piece of paper. This is me waiting for you to grab your paper. Did you see me? That was me waiting for you to get your paper. Grab your piece of paper and write down the gifts and talents that God has given you. Do you speak well? Do you write great poetry? Do you sing well? Now, powerful woman, when you write this get, uh, when you write this list, I don't want you to compare what you do well to anybody else. I'm asking you what you do well, and don't let fear talk you out of what you do well. Okay, now, now listen. I'm not saying what you have fun with doing because I have fun bowling, but I'm no good at it. No, 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 no. I want to knit, but you don't want me to knit anything for you. So, <laughs> what I'm asking you is what are you good at? What are your gifts and what are your talents? Because this is the season where it's time for you to master those things. This is the season where it's time for you to allow the spirit of excellence to rest upon those things that God has given you. So you can go from ordinary to extraordinary. God put you here for you to be extraordinary. He put you here and he set you apart just for himself. So powerful woman, write that list. Take 15 minutes. And you know what? If you feel like, hey, I don't have a lot on this list, you can take some time every single day this week thinking of the things that you're really good at. Ask um, your spouse, ask your siblings, ask your parents those things that you do really well. Because sometimes it can be difficult for us um, to really, really think about the things that we do well. Especially if you've been allowing fear to tell you you don't do it well. You know if you um, have been listening to fear is when people tell you, oh, that was really great. And you're just like, uh, no, or you can't receive their compliment well. It's because you've been listening to fear for too long, powerful woman. And so time is now for you to unbury your gifts and talents. And I'm looking forward to hearing about how you have unburied those gifts and those talents, okay? So comment down below. Let me know what you have uncovered about yourself. Also, don't forget, share, 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 share. I want anyone and everyone who needs to hear this message to hear it because fear has got to go. It's faith over fear in this season. Powerful woman, what did you think of the video? Listen, I want to hear from you. Comment down below. We can get a discussion going. If you have questions, I want to be able to answer them for you because you are too powerful to hold those gifts and talents on the inside of you. I need you to be the very best that you can be so that we can flourish together. Listen, those around you need you to be the very best that you can be, and we don't need fear holding you back. So what were your thoughts on the video? How are you gonna use what's in the video to expand your life? Listen, if you have not done so already, click the subscribe button so you can know every time I upload a new video. Also, hit the bell for the little notification so you can know. Listen, you want to know every time a video is uploaded. Comment, share it with the powerful woman that you know so you can grow together. I want to help as many people as possible go from religion to relationship to lifestyle so they are living from the kingdom. How will you help do that? I'll see you in the next video.